In this video tutorial, I want to talk about a tool called Bureau Plane, which you can find in the intersect menu and in mathematical uh, sub menu. And that is because uh, the Bureau Plane intersects a Bureau or a boundary representation, a surface, a polysurface, uh, whatever you want, uh, with a plane. And a plane is a mathematical uh, element which is an infinite. Uh, extension of a surface, a flat surface. We can also search for BREP space PL or plane and you can find it easily or go to the intersect BREP plane. So in this uh, tutorial I want to talk about uh, this tutor, this uh, algorithm and how I'm going to produce these curves. You can see that I can change them a little bit and we can produce uh, interesting curves that you uh, that maybe you can't even make it with other methods but this is really an easy tutorial. So first of all I have produced a surface uh, in Rhino and I've just drawn a simple curve uh, we can just move it by the gumball of Rhino and uh, press control control button and if I release my mouse button you can see that we have a surface here I can uh, use control and shift button uh, combined to select an edge and just rotate that edge that you can see I can uh, select individual edges by control and shift so you can see that I can just move those edges okay so we can also make this surface better by rebuilding it I type rebuild and increase the U and V uh, ISO curves so I have a better nerve surface okay I can import this surface with a surface tool can go to the params and use surface to import the surface and let me just hide this uh, for bira plane we can uh, intersect this surface with a set of planes that we can control uh, if you use uh, the counter tool you can just uh, intersect a set of bira or a mesh with uh, planes that are in a, a straight direction so uh, with the plane you can just uh, break the limit and make those planes uh, more controllable and maybe on a curve so I can show you here that we can uh, control this plane let me just start with a simple XY plane and extract the origin and move the point of the origin you can see that it's a uh, simple tool that will intersect the plane with the BREP. So what I will do now is to produce a parametric curve on this surface. Uh, we can go to the curve and spline and use curve on surface to produce a parametric curve on that surface. So first of all I'm going to connect this surface to the surface input but uh, you can see that we have a UV coordinate here so it's not an XYZ or a, a Cartesian coordinate we have a UV coordinate that is based on the surface what we can do is to right click on the surface and reparameterize it uh, because I have talked about this in the evaluate surface tutorial you can see it and understand what uh, reparameterize is but basically what happens is that uh, reparameterize just makes the domain of the surface you can see that by default the domain is uh, something we can we have to uh, put a domain 2 to the surface to see 0 to 16070 and 0 to 134 and to control these domains we can just right click on the surface and choose reparameterize and we go from 0 to 1 so uh, basically we can use an MD slider MD slider or multi-dimension slider to control the UV coordinates so if I give two 
MD sliders and move the sliders you can see that we can uh, draw a parametric curve on the surface so what I'm going to do is to draw a curve from this corner to that corner so let me give it another MD slider and change the position okay and what I'm going to do is to use this curve to uh, base my uh, base my planes uh, I can distribute planes or perpendicular frames on this curve by just searching PER and you can have perpendicular frames and that can easily make the curve be divided by uh, uh, by frames so I'm just going to choose perpendicular frames you can find it into curve and in the division here's the icon okay I'm going to uh, collect this curve to that and here we have it there are 25 and basically it's 26 uh, number of frames on that curve and you can see that I'm uh, I can use these frames to uh, connect it to the Bira plane and uh, make an intersection with that surface so we can use this simple method to uh, have interesting parametric curves you can see here I'm going to change these MD sliders and you can see that uh, we can have uh, interesting uh, curves on that surface you can play with that surface and let me show you how you can use maybe a twist twist command to twist this surface a little bit okay and you can see that it will change I can twist this about 40 degrees okay and you can see that we can produce curves on that surface it's really important how you control these curves you can move the uh, MD slider and see that you can have different curves uh, perhaps uh, you can have another curve from this corner to that corner so I'm just going to copy and paste this algorithm and change the control points of that curve so you can see that we have another set of advantages preview off for the curves and you can see that if I look at uh, that surface from front you can see that we have a interesting pattern on the surface because we can't make those uh, uh, with another method we can do it but it's easily done by just uh, looking at the surface from front or about right you can make things uh, interesting by uh, playing with these curves and also you can play with the surface so if I had another surface I wanted to show you that you can use twist to make interesting patterns with this method so okay you can see that this pattern is really really uh, hard to produce with other methods but we can look at this at front and you can see that the curves are really parametric we can change the number of the perpendicular frames of these curves uh, we can also uh, work on the perpendicular frames by using another method and I'm just going to show you how you can control it uh, easily let me just enter a, that's okay that with, that's with a single uh, setup we are playing intersection another method is to use a perpendicular frame and that is because you can control the uh, input of the parameter here so I'm going to reparameterize the curve the curve will be uh, 0 to 1 so 0 will be here and we will have a 1 till the end and 
what we can do is to change the distribution of the frames on this curve. The best and simple and the best and the simplest way you can do this is to use range. You can use a range. A range is uh, zero to one domain divided by steps. So I'm going to, going to give it a ten steps, or maybe more, twelve, and then I can just use a graph mapper. I've talked about the graph mapper in uh, many of my tutorials, and you can use it to change the distribution of numbers so you can see that if I use a busier distribution you can change the way those frames are uh, ranging on the curve and if I connect that to the plane and let me just increase the number you can see that the distribution is more and denser at the start and end of the curve okay let's just make this more handles and are less dense at the center so you can use these uh, graphs to produce uh, and control your intersections with the graph plane and play with the surface play with the curves uh, if you change and make the curves come down you can see that it will intersect itself because uh, a frame here will uh, intersect a frame like here and we will have intersections so uh, it's really important to make that curve parametric so you can just control it and uh, find the best position of the points on the surface uh, you can uh, produce uh, parametric curves on the surface and that's the tutorial about Vira plane uh, I will also talk about other methods that you can use to produce uh, intersections in uh, my other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.